G'day and welcome to Couch Time with Mike. It's Saturday the 25th of September 2020 and I hope that you're having a great day or night whatever you're, whenever you're watching this and let's get started. So before we read the Word of God I'd like to pray and just um, give this session to God, give this recording. God bless your Holy Word and bless the people that are watching this. We know that these are dark days and dark times, but God, we know that your promises are forever and amen. We know, God, that you have a great plan for this, and we pray that people watching right now will have that positivity and the assurance of salvation. That they know that where they're going, there will be no more tears, and we know that your Bible promises that if they put their faith in Jesus. So God, bless your word, bless these people, and we pray that people be blessed in Jesus' name. So I thought I'd read from Psalm 23. Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You can't really get a better promise than that. It doesn't say that in this scripture that everything is going to be okay all the time, but the end of it gives us such a promise. Verse 6, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's a great promise. Whatever you're going through today, whatever you're feeling, I know that every time you turn on Facebook, whatever you're watching, it's dark. I know it's very dark out there. The media's riding this, and it is being portrayed as a dark time. And the Bible does say there's going to be dark, dark times. But it also says that in those dark times, even though we walk through the valley of a shadow of death, He is with us. And He is with you today. Whatever you're doing, again, whatever you're going through, He knows. In Psalm 24, verse 1, it says, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell in therein. For he, for he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He's got it under control. One of my favorite, one of my favorite now verses from Zig Ziglar. If you don't know Zig Ziglar, YouTube him and just get ready to be inspired. But it says, People often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it every day. This is like a spiritual bathing. The Bible is all you need. You don't need to search the internet for answers. The answers are here. And I hope that in the future, that you can join me on this journey as I inspire and challenge and just get into the Word and share some thoughts about it and give you some inspiration. And just remember, there will always be dark days, but the, the, light, the light likes to shine in the darkness. It's a good time for it to shine. So shine your light, give a smile, Read Psalm 23, 24. Read everything in the Bible. It's amazing. 
it'll change your life. There's salvation in this. There's a promise of eternity. It's endless. You don't need distractions from the world. It's too much out there. So YouTube land, I hope that you liked watching this. And feel free to comment and I'll comment back. And I'll also feature you on this, on these recordings, with any prayer requests or any of your favorite verses. And I'd like to be in contact. So let's pray before we go. God, I thank you for this opportunity to inspire. I thank you that people are given their time to listen to me. And I pray, God, that people will search out your Bible and they will search out your words because we know that nothing is wrong about it. It does not contradict anything. It brings life and hope and the real positivity. Not a fake hooly dooly whatever kind of positivity, but the promises that are in here are yes and amen. Once people put their faith in Jesus and they're washed by the blood, that's it. Salvation is theirs. Heaven's their home. And God, we pray for peace in this world right now. We know that there are a lot of scary voices and a lot of opinion out there. But God, make your face shine upon these people. And pray you bless these people. Bless this land. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. I hope to speak to you tomorrow whenever I record again. And be blessed. God bless.